Hey there, how's it going? I just wanted to make a video explaining a little more of something. Okay. A lot of people talk about, oh, the left started this, the left started it, the left is saying all these things and making all these statements about, uh, about people, calling people on the right racist and all that, blah, 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 right? We're calling anyone who doesn't uh, march lock, uh, lock and step with them uh, racist, misogynistic, etc., right? How do I say that word wrong? It's supposed to be etc., not etc. Anyway, um, it didn't start then. Okay, now maybe I'm wrong about this, but it, it, it doesn't really seem so. I'm going to tell you when I thought this started. It's after 9-11. For three years after 9-11, any significant criticism of George Bush was met with the phrase, you're un-American, and a number of other nasty phrases. For the first year after 9-11 happened, newscasters were afraid of being critical of George Bush. They were, they feared losing their jobs. It pretty much was like McCarthyism all over again. All started by 9-11, right? You, you don't call someone un-American or almost treasonous and all this sort of stuff for like disagreeing with the war in Iraq, but that's what was going on. And that's one of the reasons why so many people bought into the the idea of it. Oh well, well we have to react. If 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 we don't react, then we'll be un-American. And people were told that constantly. Well, you should have stuck to your principles. Well, you know this this whole that whole right wing mindset I describe so often, the bullying, intimidation, and shaming. Um, that's when it started. And it carried on, and it started to trigger the left to be like, well, if you guys are going to play hardball, then so are we. And that's when the left started to go to extremes. And now the right is, is pissed off that the left reacted, but the right is trying to just blame it all on the left. Well... Look at how so many people acted after 9-11. This is one of the reasons why I state so explicitly that the person that is president, the person that is the figurehead of the country, has a great effect on the culture. And that's why Trump's, the idea of a Trump presidency worries me. Because I'm already seeing where this is going, and he hasn't even been elected yet. So, you, know, you want to blame some people? How about blaming the right with their hope? You're un-American for not supporting Bush. 